Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to show you how to change your Apple ID in your Mac. So what we have to do is go into your system preferences. So here's my system preferences. However, maybe you guys don't see it down there. Don't worry about it. Just go to your spotlight search, which is on your top right hand side from your Mac. That's this right here. So just click on there. And we're going to type in system preferences and we should see this popping up. So just click on your first option. And from there, we're going to see ID. Okay, right here, it's where you see iCloud. Just click on iCloud. Once we click on iCloud, you guys will see this popping up. From here, you guys will see below, on the bottom left-hand side, it says sign out. So you guys can sign out from there. All we have to do is click sign out. And it's going to prompt us if we want to keep a copy of our data. In this case, we don't, so we won't do that. So you guys can just uncheck, or you guys could keep a copy of whatever's important to you, or just uncheck all of them, click on continue. And there you go. So this will take out iCloud Drive, contacts, calendars, all that personal information. However, if you guys are selling or you just bought this Mac, this is not what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, I am showing you how to do this because this is the quick way if you want to change just a user in your MacBook and just want to put another Apple ID, go ahead. But if you just bought this MacBook secondhand or something like that, or if you're planning on selling your MacBook and that's why you're doing this, then this is not what you guys want to do. What you want to do is format your internal hard drive and then reinstall the OS. That way, when you reinstall the OS, you will be reinstalling with your Apple ID, all right? That's it for this video. However, like I said, if you guys are selling this, just bought an old MacBook or something like that, I'm gonna just show you a video that I made from before showing you exactly what you should do in order for this Mac to be 100% yours and the OS itself to be installed with your own Apple ID, that way, you guys will own with your own Apple ID that Mac OS, okay? If not, the OS will still be under this other Apple ID that the whole Mac was activated with, okay? So it's very important to do that. Just watch this video and hopefully you guys have no problems. We're starting right from factory settings. So we're gonna be erasing all the content from it plus installing the OS again, okay? So for us to do this, before you even turn it on, what we're gonna be pressing is Command R, okay? So we're gonna be holding those keys even before you turn this on, and then what we're gonna do is erase the entire content. So make sure to have all your files and everything out of here before you proceed with all these directions, okay? Um, for those of you who have Time Machine set up, then this is the time to do it, okay? And don't do this just before you're selling your computer. So if you have to sell it in one hour, <laughs> um, this is not good to do just with one hour, okay? You guys will need a little bit more time because it's gonna download the whole OS again and install that. So it's gonna take some time. I would highly suggest doing this at least one day if you guys are gonna sell your computer and that's why you're doing this. Just one day ahead, okay, at least. So anyways, let's just get started. Um, we're just gonna press this and then we're gonna be holding Command R, okay? So I'm holding Command R already. I'm pressing the power key, okay? Um, and what we want is to hold the Command key plus R until we see this loading bar. Once you guys see the loading bar a little bit, at least loading a little bit, or at least halfway for some of you, all right? Then you guys can let go. Okay, if you let go before that, you guys might have some problems. So make sure to just hold on to there until you get halfway or you see a little bit of the bar going. If you guys don't see the bar going yet, keep pressing holding command R. Okay, so that's the most important thing that we're going to do actually today is the, this key combination. And this will work with older models. So as you guys can see, this MacBook Pro has the touch bar, but um, with other ones, it's the same thing, okay? And right now, let me just, right there on my screen, you guys will see this. So let me just zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see what's up. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna have to choose English as our main language, and then just click on next. 
the arrow down here below. And then this is the main thing that you guys have to see. So to reinstall your OS, that's it. Okay, now I've done this before. Just reinstalling the OS, I found um, that it doesn't delete your files. So if you guys are just doing that, it's not gonna delete all your files. What you guys need to do to delete everything from your Mac is go to Disk Utility. So we're gonna go right into Disk Utility. I'm gonna show you a couple options right there. Okay, what you guys want to format is the first option where it says internal. And let me just click up there. There we go. So this tells me my disk space exactly. So it's 500 gigs. Okay, if I click on Macintosh HD, then I can see how much I have free and how much I've used and so on. All right. So what you guys want to do is just go right there and then just click on erase. So right here, it's my erase. So I'm just going to click right there. Now this will delete, erase means erase. <laughs> it's gonna delete your entire content, okay? Um, I would leave the name, but this is the time where you guys could change the name if you guys want to. I'm just gonna leave it as is. And yes, this is the option that you guys want, journaled, and then erased. Now, if I click right here, there's other formats that for most of you, you guys don't wanna mess with those. Keep it simple, this will work just fine. This is the easy way to do it. And then we can just go erase, okay? Again, this is deleting your entire MacBook right now. Then we're done. That did it really, really fast. Usually I've seen this take a long time, but today it went really fast. Okay, free space, we've got a bunch of free space, that makes sense. Used nothing basically, and then we have our image space, which is fine. We don't have to touch none of this. So right now, we just deleted everything from our Mac. You guys can click right here on the red dot. There you go. And from here, you guys can reinstall the OS. Or at this point, what you guys can do, if you guys have Time Machine set up, you guys can restore from that Time Machine. Okay, and then it's gonna bring back all your files, all the programs that you guys had installed before, and so on and so forth. I do have a separate video just showing you what Time Machine is and how to use it, how to set it up. And Time Machine actually works with an external hard drive, not just within your Mac. So make sure that you have an external hard drive before you proceed with any instructions to do with Time Machine. Um, anyways, right now we're gonna reinstall the OS because you kind of had to. <laughs> we just erased everything from your Mac. So for this to work, you guys need to connect to your Wi-Fi. So make sure to click up here and then just select your Wi-Fi. Connect to it and then we can actually proceed with this whole installation. So this verification will not work if you guys are not connected to internet. So make sure to connect up. You guys don't need to connect it directly through Wi-Fi. Of course, you guys can hook it up through your Ethernet cable if you guys want to. Uh, just click on Agree. We do have to select this, so it has to be your Macintosh HD right now. And there we go. So, like I said, do this a day ahead. That's just in case you guys run into any problems. Um, your internet speed could be really slow at your place. Who knows? You guys could, uh, your internet could go out and then you guys have to continue on your installation later on or at a friend's house. So that's what I'm telling you guys to do this a day ahead at least. Um, if you guys are going to sell your computer or if you guys need your computer right away, this is not something that should be taken that lightly um, because we are erasing everything and installing the OS. Plus, hey, if you guys need programs, you guys are going to have to reinstall all the programs that you had in there before since we just wiped everything out. Okay guys, so after you guys see those Apple logos and loading bars, you guys should get to this point where it says welcome and you're pretty much done. I mean, all you guys have to do is put in your standard stuff. So whether you guys in the US, United Kingdom, Canada, wherever, just go next, continue. Um, it's gonna ask you what you guys want exactly. I'm just gonna choose US for now. And then again, you guys do need Wi-Fi to set this whole thing up. So I highly recommend doing it that right now.
next thing over if you guys want to transfer anything or set this up brand new then there you go right now it's your choice what you guys want to do exactly so since this sh this whole thing is about setting up a brand new computer factory settings this will be your last option so don't transfer any information now of course you guys can do from a Mac time machine backup or startup disk however like I said we're starting from scratch you guys can choose whether you guys want to enable this or not and here we go your Apple ID like I told you guys you guys should have this up and running right now or you guys can also create one at this point so right here is your option to create one if you guys don't already have one up next just click on agree and yes you guys do have to agree to this so just before this you guys could have picked your password your account name you guys can pick any account name right now and right now it's the easiest time to do that because later on it's gonna get a little bit difficult to do that uh, right now you guys could set this up or set up later so I'm gonna put set up later um, this is your choice again you guys could go for it or just uncheck these guys and just go to continue so this part is going to ask you about your files in iCloud. So, uh, this is tricky. If you guys have a plan with them, I would suggest maybe go with this. <laughs> um, in my case, I don't really need it. I usually don't suggest doing this. I usually just suggest having your files on your computer. You set up yourselves your own backups and don't just let this do it automatically for you. So that's my recommendation, but it's up to you guys once again. At this point, again, you guys can share your stuff with Apple if you guys want to. If you guys don't want to, then don't. Siri, I highly suggest having that on. And Touch ID. So, set up your Touch ID. That's right here on the side. You guys will have to set that up. Um, however, we're not going to do that at this point. We're just going to skip that over so you guys can set up Touch ID later. But just to show you, I'm going to move my camera around. And here we go. So on this side, right here, and it tells you where exactly. You guys have to tap repeatedly. It's kind of like setting up your iPhone. Um, but I'm going to skip that step for now. So for this part, you guys do not need to put any credit cards in it. There's no need, okay? So don't feel pressure to put any credit cards they always push this type of stuff but my suggestion again is not to put anything until you guys actually need to okay so i'm gonna press continue and then it's gonna try to scan a card however we're not gonna do that so up here we're gonna see next that we can skip that option so up here like i said we can skip that option by clicking up here so at this point we are done. Your computer is nice and fresh and everything's installed. Um, what you should do at this point is update your actual Mac. So just go to the Apple logo up here, App Store, and then do any updates necessary and whichever updates you guys want. So if you guys want to install this, go ahead. If you guys don't want to, don't. You guys just have to run this update. I highly suggest running all updates. And that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.